How do you go about finding the right financial advisor for you? It feels like such an unfamiliar world out there that most of us don't even know where or how to get started, which means we often just go for someone a friend uses or a huge comforting brand. And this, especially the latter, may not always be the best option. Failing those two, the next thing people tend to go for is location. Are they nearby? And I really don't think this is so important anymore. A good advisor will travel to see you across the UK as much as you need really. And the new world of video conferencing has been a bit of a game changer, particularly when it comes to service levels. I mean, you can receive amazing service without even leaving your armchair now. There are a few things to think about though. First is to ask if that big BMF bank really is going to give you that personal level of service. We've seen a huge amount of money flowing away from these brands over the last few years as they just aren't keeping up with the curb when it comes to service levels. The other thing to mention is independence. I have worked for a Tide firm in the past and that firm should ultimately believe that the way they look after money is superior because they're aiming for optimum outcomes, and most of the time they do. However, I can tell you that many advisors at Tide Firms sometimes feel their own in-house solution might not be the best option for a particular client because of that client's needs or general philosophy, but it's their only choice. Ideally, you want to find the best of both worlds, an independent firm that has the ability to select either outside of their core offering, if that's what's right for you, but also has proven in-house investment strategies that they'll likely be able to more easily gear towards your objectives. I'd also say it's important that the firm you choose provides a full service. As consumers, we're getting more and more used to having everything in one place, because guess what? It makes life a lot easier. So ideally, they should have their own platform, can provide in-house pensions and tax wrappers and be able to arrange insurance for you alongside core financial planning and investment management. It's just going to remove so much confusion and headache for you. In a perfect world, I'd also say it's important for there to be both financial planning and investment management expertise within the firm. The idea that someone can be an expert at both is really farcical. You know, when you have surgery, you have a team of specialists in the theatre, not just one doctor that claims to be surgeon, anaesthetist and nurse, and it should be exactly the same for your money. And last but certainly not least, is don't just look for the cheapest or indeed the most expensive option out there, depending on which way you lean. Ask the question, can you demonstrate to me how you have added value for your fees? The most expensive active management can look very good value if, and that's a big if, it's genuinely added consistent outperformance. Similarly, the cheapest passive solution starts to look very expensive if your fees haven't added any value at all and it's performed poorly for the amount of risk it's taken. So don't look at price, look at value. A good firm will easily be able to demonstrate this to you. So it can be a bit of a challenge finding the right advisor and it certainly is an unfamiliar world for many people. But perhaps rather than simply basing your decisions on whether you've seen the brand on a poster or not, go through my criteria and you might come up with some interesting results. Because remember, your money really does matter.